Hello, welcome to another partial theorist. Uh, we're running extra short on time this week, so we're gonna try to cruise through this. So I guess, yeah, let's just hop on into it. Well, we're gonna start with Kavanaugh. With the, Kavanaugh is the person that's trying to be the ninth Supreme Court Justice to actually fill the, fill the seat so they can actually start making some decisions. But his confirmation was brought with sexual allegations, basically that he tried to rape um, Dr. Ford in, when was it? It was like 1982, yeah, something like that, so like roughly 35 years ago. That's a long time ago. Although That's Republicans keep saying nearly 40 years ago, giving it that extra distance, like I heard Mitch McConnell say that several times. Originally, Christine Blasey Ford was asking for an FBI investigation, mm -hmm. which uh, the Republicans were saying they didn't really want to do that if it was necessary. Um, and then following the testimony, which uh, a lot of people had opinions kind of going into it. Brett Kavanaugh seemed, was wild. He's, he's one of those people who have the curse of they, they can't hide their, their emotions from their face. Like you can see everything he's thinking and feeling yeah. through his face, which is the worst. That's worse than a disease, low key. Because you can't bullshit nobody. But anyway, he kept. Like, he was basically throwing a mini temper tantrum and saying, I went to Yale. Yeah, he worked reason. his butt off. He worked his tail he off. He didn't know. Yale. He went to Georgetown <laughs> Prep. He went to Georgetown Prep. It's really not that hard. It, like, if you go to the right school, getting into schools is easy. It's like someone going to PS13 in fucking Brooklyn or some shit back in the day or fucking Kavanaugh in Georgetown Prep. Who do you think is going to have to work harder regardless of race? Like, if it yeah. was a black person in Georgetown Prep, they're getting the shit over, a, like, a white person in PS13. It's the school. So, Loki, he didn't do shit. He was just in the right school. And he kept claiming that as a reason why he would not rape, or try to rape, allegedly, Dr. Ford. Yeah. And also yeah. Trump. I mean, he, I think he said, uh, Kevin, I went to Yale, like, 30 times. Gives a fuck. Yale is the second best right. school. It's not even the first. Like, no. Nah. But anyway, that kind of brought into question his behavior and his temperament, especially for someone who's going to be on the Supreme Court. Well, yeah, and so I mean, I, what I was the point I was going to make is so like this has been a totally polarizing thing. Is like, and Republicans have been saying and sticking with the whole time that this is just a smear campaign targeted well, at it, Brett Kavanaugh. It is, yeah. But what's so crazy about that is so then they went ahead, had the testimony. And yeah, they a lot of another thing that they were apologizing people, to him, which is wild. Fucking Mitch McConnell, no Mitch McConnell, and then Lindsey Graham. They were fucking, uh, it's like they they were basically like crying tears for the shit he has to go through. They were put like, nah, this woman is sitting in front of the whole fucking world. Everybody can see her face, even if she's bullshitting. She's still a bullshitter in front of the whole fucking world, regardless of what you think, like. That's that's more stressful than his his position. Yeah, well, yeah, no, and that's what I think is like so crazy about the situation because you have Republicans on one hand saying like they had her come in, they had her do the testimony, and like they're yeah. saying the testimony was credible. She seems like a nice woman. She seems believable. Like no one's arguing that, but then at the same time, Republicans are saying like, oh, this is just politics. This is just a smear campaign. So to me, it's like how can you have it both ways? You know, you can't. Like, you also, can't in one hand say she's credible, but then say, oh, this is just like a plot by the Democrats. No, so because it's they, like, they see the way things are going. Mm -hmm. Like, event like eventually, you are, you're not going to be able to just rape women. And, like, Me Too is taking over. Even fucking Kelly and Conway went on TV and said she'd be sexually assaulted. I don't know what to believe. Like, I don't want to say shit. If I say anything wrong here, I could be here. Yeah, but it's, it's just fucking weird. So she's saying that while saying that she doesn't believe Ford. So why should I believe her? Yeah. Why the fuck should I believe, especially Kelly and Conway? But I shouldn't say that again because she might be telling yeah. the truth. Wow. But it makes it it makes it very hard for me to believe anything that woman said. It, yeah. It, I'm, and I guess that is like the state of our politics, which is like really unfortunate. It's like we honestly just can't tell who's really. From, at least from the politician's perspective, like who is really, but I mean, I don't, that, to me that's what's troubling about Mitch McConnell and Republicans, it's just like, they're saying this is all politics, but it's like, oh my God, that's all you guys do, that's all you did with yeah. Merrick Garland, and like, 
That's all it's ever been about. Also, so don't they, start they didn't saying... think Trump was gonna win. No, yeah. none of them thought he was gonna win. So they're trying to do their shit before. Yeah. Get their get what they wanted out of it, I guess. Yeah. At least get a chance in case he won that they could they could put Mary Garland in. No, nope, um, not put Mary Garland in. But now it's just. I think that they've dug themselves into a hole and they don't know what to do. Because now they just, like, the person who, those are the people that picked, I mean, the list of, the, of potential Supreme Court candidates, like, they were on a news station saying that they, that Trump could have picked anybody. He could have thrown a dart and picked anybody else and they would have been cool with him. Like, they said Brett Kavanaugh was fine. Like, he wasn't anything, he literally was just yeah. a random person that he picked. He probably showed more allegiance to Trump and that's why, but... They could have picked any other person. Like they could still go back and pick a better person and end this whole shit. Yeah. But and probably pick a woman because yeah, they can. There's play been the a shit. huge historical imbalance of women on the court, and there's only been like. And they can definitely like find some Republican pro life women. Oh yeah, yeah. They, like, they yeah. already have one. So like, why why are they putting all of just because of Kavanaugh? I think, I think it's just because, in a way, Trump like sees himself in Kavanaugh, and so that's why he. I think he's. They just don't want to lose. Yeah. But the thing is, it won't be losing. It will just be playing. It's they're basically playing a longer game of chess. Sacrifice Kavanaugh and get anybody else. Like right now, they can get the worst person in who hasn't raped anybody yet, which might actually even be better for their cause. Yeah. Like just dump this dude and just put somebody that's slight like who might be worse in everybody else's eyes, but will do more of your shit, and people won't say shit because he's not a fucking rapist. Yeah, it shouldn't be this hard. Like they they look he have all the cards, and they are still playing the Kavanaugh card, the worst one. But anyway, an FBI report was conducted, and people are calling it shoddy and kind of rushed. Yeah, and I mean, so the Democrats agreed that, like, it would be limited in scope when they finally... Well, I mean, I think the Democrats would have liked more, but they agreed to that since, like, the Republicans said they would go ahead and do do this investigation if it was limited in scope. Democrats like, okay, sure, limited in scope. But what that turned out to mean was, like, they talked to, I think, nine people. They said six have confirmed, but I think it's maybe nine. Yeah, so, well, that's the thing, too, is, like, they're not releasing the port report mm. to the public. It's, like, only available to the senators, and it's unclear whether it's ever going to be released. So no one really knows what, for sure, who all they talk to, but you have a lot of uh, they said they people were, who they were, were saying that they could corroborate it or wanted to be talked to by the Yeah, they FBI. could have talked to a shit ton of people. Yeah. Even just the people who say they're a woman for Kavanaugh, they could, though, that's, like, 60 fucking women. There's a whole lot of people that they could have talked to, but they talked to Deborah Ramirez, who said that Kavanaugh showed his dick to her at a dorm party when they were freshmen at Yale. Which, again, why? My judge, who is the dude that, he's the one that wrote the book, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And a high school classmate of Kavanaugh, who Christine Blasey Ford said was there. And then Le- Le- Leland Kaiser, who is um, Ford's friend who said that Ford was present at the party where she was attacked. Patrick Smith, who Ford says was at the party. Tim Godet, the Kavanaugh's high school classmate, who hosted a party in 1982 that was attended by some of the people Ford alleges was present the night at that night. And then Chris Garrett, a Kavanaugh classmate who was attend who attended Godet's 1982 party. So basically, just, they're just trying to paint a picture of his character. It doesn't seem like it goes too much into detail about, like, actual... I don't think they do actual real investigating. It seems like more character-based shit. Yeah. Today, they, they're about to vote. They voted to, con- to to move Kavanaugh forward to the next step. So now they're going to host a vote. When When is the vote? Uh, well, so they voted whether that to not whether or not to continue the investigation, and that vote was held earlier today, and it was fifty-one to forty-nine in favor of closing the investigation or closing the debate period. And now you're moving on to a regular vote. Yeah, so that well, should probably be sometime early next week, I would imagine. Well, we'll find out soon enough. And this yeah. has been Impostor Theorist, the shortest one. Yeah, I think it was okay.
and we'll see you next week. Yep, see ya.